Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice had elements of coolness, but it didn't do very well as a movie altogether. Two titans of the DC Universe clash, but remember kids, the first rule of War World is you don't talk about Martha. We look at the books that inspired the big fight. Let's dive in. The Dark Knight Returns is set in a dystopian version of Gotham City in 1986. Bruce Wayne, age 55, has given up the mantle of Batman after the death of Jason Todd 10 years prior and now lives as a bored bachelor. As a result, crime is running rampant throughout the city and a gang calling themselves the Mutants has begun terrorizing the people of Gotham. Upon being reminded of the deaths of his parents during a TV broadcast of The Mask of Zorro and watching news reports about the Mutants' crimes, Wayne returns to his role as a vigilante. On his first night as Batman, he puts a stop to multiple assaults, including one on two young girls, Carrie Kelly and her friend Michelle. While attempting to foil an armed robbery on the same night, Batman learns that the men involved are working for Harvey Dent. Dent, previously known for his criminal acts as Two-Face, underwent extensive therapy and plastic surgery financed by Wayne to re-emerge into society. Batman informs Commissioner James Gordon that Dent may be planning a larger scheme. Soon after, Dent hijacks the television sets of the city and announces his intention to hold the city to a ransom with a bomb. When Batman defeats Dent and his goons, he realizes that Dent's mind has completely warped into his two-faced persona. Inspired by Batman's rescue, Kelly buys herself an imitation Robin costume and searches for him, seeking to help him. She learns that Batman will be at the city dump and follows the mutants there. Although Batman defeats the mutants with his advanced weaponry in the ensuing battle, the mutant leader ends up goading him into a hand-to-hand -hand fight. During their brawl, Batman, despite being able to match the leader in strength, is rusty and slightly slower due to a decade of inactivity, which results in him getting seriously injured. Kelly creates a diversion, allowing Batman to immobilize the mutant leader, and the two of them escape. At the Batcave, Wayne's butler, Alfred Pennyworth, tends to his wounds while Kelly discovers and admires the Robin costume that had belonged to Todd. Wayne decides to keep Kelly as his new sidekick. Gordon allows Batman to defeat the mutant leader, whom he had arrested, on his own terms. The two engage in a fight at a sewage runoff pipe surrounded by members of the mutant gang. Batman, leveraging the mud from the sewage to slow him down, deals the leader a brutal defeat. Seeing Batman defeat their leader, the mutants disbanded, and some renamed themselves the Sons of Batman, using excessive violence against criminals. At the White House, Superman and current President Ronald Reagan discuss the events in Gotham, with the latter suggesting that Superman may have to arrest Batman. Superman informs the president that he may only be able to talk to Wayne. He is then deployed by Washington to the Latin America country of Cordo Maltese, where he fights Soviet combat forces in a conflict that may ignite World War III. Gordon hands over the role of commissioner to Captain Ellen Yindel, who issues a statement declaring that Batman is a wanted criminal for his vigilante activities. At the same time, Batman's return simulates the Joker to awaken from catatonia at Arkham Asylum. With renewed purpose, the Joker manipulates his caretakers to allow him onto a television talk show where he murders everyone with gas and escapes. With the help of Selina Kyle, Batman and Robin track him to a county fair while evading a police pursuit led by Yindel. There, they realize that he is already making attempts to kill fairgoers. Batman defeats the Joker in a bloody confrontation, which ends when the Joker commits suicide by breaking his own neck to incriminate Batman for murder. After another confrontation with the Gotham police, Batman escapes with the help of Robin and a citywide manhunt begins. Superman diverts a Soviet nuclear warhead, which detonates in a desert, nearly killing himself in the process. The United States is hit by an electromagnet pulse as a result and descends into chaos during the resulting blackout. In Gotham, Batman realizes what has happened, and he and Robin turn the remaining mutants and sons of the Batman into a non-lethal vigilante gang. He leads them against looters and ensures the flow of essential supplies. In the midst of the blackout, Gotham becomes the safest city in the country. The U.S. government sees this as an embarrassment and orders Superman to remove Batman. Oliver Queen predicts to Wayne that the government lackey Superman and the maverick Batman will have a final confrontation. Superman demands to meet Batman. Knowing he may die, Wayne chooses Crime Alley, where he first became Batman. He relies on Superman's weakness caused by near death in the nuclear blast. Superman only just managed to survive by absorbing the energy from the sun, 
but he is still vulnerable to attack. Superman tries to reason with Batman, but Batman uses his technological inventions and mastery of hand-to-hand combat to fight him on equal ground. During the battle, Superman compromises Batman's exo-frame, but Queen shoots a kryptonite-tipped arrow to greatly weaken Superman. Batman reveals that he intentionally spares Superman's life by not using a more powerful kryptonite mix. The fight and near-death experience was met as a warning to Superman to stay out of Batman's way. Before he can fully defeat Superman, Batman suddenly has a heart attack, apparently dying. Alfred destroys the Batcave, and Wayne Manor, before dying of a stroke, exposed Batman as Bruce Wayne, whose fortune has disappeared. After Wayne's funeral, it is revealed that his death was staged using his own chemical concoction that can suspend his vital life signs. Clark Kent attends the funeral and winks at Robin after hearing Wayne's heartbeat resume. Sometime afterward, Bruce Wayne leads Robin, Queen, and the rest of his followers into caverns beyond the Batcave and prepares to continue his war on crime. Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice takes place 18 months after the battle between Superman and General Zod in Metropolis. Superman has become a controversial figure. Billionaire Bruce Wayne, who has operated in Gotham City as the vigilante Batman for 20 years, sees Superman as an extraterrestrial threat to humanity. After learning of Batman's form of justice, Clark Kent, Superman's civilian identity, seeks to expose him via Daily Planet articles. Nobody cares about Clark Kent taking on the Batman. Wayne learns that Russian weapon trafficker Anatoly Knizov has been contacting Lex Corps mogul Lex Luthor. Meanwhile, Luthor unsuccessfully tries to persuade Senator June Finch to allow him to import kryptonite retrieved from the Indian Ocean following Zod's terraforming attempt, claiming that he wants to maintain it as a deterrent against future Kryptonian and metahuman threats. While decrypting the drive, Bruce dreams of a post-apocalyptic world where he leads a group of rebels against an evil Superman. He is awakened from his dream by an unidentified person appearing through a portal who warns him of Lois Lane's crucial role in the future and urges him to find the others before vanishing. Wayne admits to Alfred Pennyworth that he plans to steal the kryptonite to weaponize it should it become necessary to fight Superman. At a congressional hearing as Finch questions Superman on the validity of his actions, a bomb smuggled by Luther goes off and kills everyone present but Superman. Believing he should have detected the bomb and frustrated by his failure to save them, Superman goes into self-imposed exile. Batman breaks into LexCorp and steals the kryptonite. In preparation to battle Superman, he builds a powered exoskeleton, creates a kryptonite grenade launcher, and a kryptonite-tipped spear. To bring Superman out of exile, Luther kidnaps Lois and Martha Kent, Clark's adoptive mother. Luther throws Lois off the LexCorp building, but Superman quickly saves her and goes on to confront Luther, who reveals to Superman that he manipulated Superman and Batman against each other by fueling their mutual distrust. Luther demands that Superman kill Batman in exchange for Martha's life. Superman tries to explain the situation to Batman, but instead Batman attacks Superman and eventually subdues him with the aid of kryptonite gas. Before Batman can kill Superman with a spear, Superman urges Batman to save Martha. You're letting him kill Martha. Whose name is also shared with Batman's mother, confusing him long enough for Lois to arrive and explain what Superman meant. Realizing how far he has fallen and unwilling to let an innocent die, Batman rescues Martha while Superman confronts Luther on the scout ship. Luther is arrested and Batman confronts him in prison, warning Luther that he will always be watching him. This movie has a lot of issues. They just tried to cram too much into it, and overall, that was its downfall. These books, aforementioned earlier, they could all be their own movies. But what do you think? Leave your thoughts in the comments. If you like the content that we have, hit that like button, show that subscribe button some love, and ding the bell to stay up to date when we upload new videos. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.